Hey friends, today we're gonna learn how to choose a song that's right for you. This is huge. It's one of the biggest determining factors in whether you'll be successful in learning a piece or not, just based on whether you chose the right piece for yourself. And a lot of people really don't know where to start. So let's dive in. In the Piano Marble Library tab, we have over 25,000 pieces and exercises to choose from. But not all of them are performance material and not all of them are going to be right for you specifically. There are three things that you should pay really close attention to. First is the level. Now, it's kind of hard for some people to figure out what skill level they're actually at. One way I think is a really good indicator is to base it on your Sasser score. When you go over to this tab, the Sasser, and you take the Sasser test, the standard assessment of sight reading, it'll tell you how well you sight read. The results will come in a number anywhere between 120 to 1800. If you're at 432, you're pretty firmly reading at a level four. If you're at a 678, you're getting close to level seven. Now, you don't want to choose a song that you can sight read. Choosing a piece to perform is about stretching yourself. You want it to be a little bit higher than what you can sight read, but not so high that it's frustrating and you give up. For me and my students, this sweet spot is somewhere between one and four levels above what you're sight reading. Almost everyone falls in between that two or three, usually more about three levels above what they're sight reading. But for some people it's different, so pay attention to your gut. If something feels too hard for you, it probably is. And if it feels too easy, you're gonna move up a level. Once you know about where you should be at, you can use the difficulty filter. Beginner covers levels one through three, intermediate covers levels four through seven, advanced covers levels eight through 12, and professional is levels 13 through 18. The second thing to pay attention to is our recommendations. That's because there's really a ton that goes into choosing the correct piece. And I couldn't possibly fit it all in a video or we'd be here all day. So to make it easier for everyone, we've curated a list of songs that are easy to learn, impressive to our audience, and fun to play. To find that list, just click Suggested. So we'll go back to our first point and pick a level that is appropriate for us. So we'll click on Intermediate for this example. Now we have a whole list of songs that are really ideal for you. Now to find the one that's perfect for you right now, here we have the third and final thing you need to pay attention to, and that's whether it vibes with you or not, whether you really enjoy it, whether it makes you excited. The easiest way to decide is to listen to it. Currently we're in the grid option, but if we click list instead, it gives us a really easy way to find out which songs we like. Now not all of them have a video, but many of them do. So we can click on the video right here, and check out what the song sounds like. So I kind of heard that one. Sounds pretty cool, but maybe I'm not super into the classical genre. As you can see, it shows the genres right here. So maybe I want something more contemporary. I can actually filter out the genres by going to these filters. I can click on just contemporary and see what comes up there. Um, let's look at the last rows. All right, I'm getting a little feel for it. I like it so far. Let's go a little farther in. this one this seems like it would be a good one so I can go ahead and click on this heart to add it to my favorites now I can go back to my grid grid mode because that's how I'm used to seeing things and I can go to my favorites and now the last rose is the very first thing in my favorites so I can click on that and get started learning on Monday we'll move on to the next step which is learning your piece. Obviously this is a big one, it's really important, but we make it really easy. 
Here's a hint. It has to do with practice mode, which includes the whole, chopped, and mint slicings. We'll see you back here next week for our next tip. Thank you.